Virgos, let's go ahead and see what now until the 15th of December has in store for you. Now, the purpose of this reading is to kind of pinpoint things that you may not be expecting to come up in the near future and give you more so like a heads up. So let's see what comes through. We already have some energy that's coming out here, <laughs> but any information that you need will be listed in the description. Virgos, what are they not expecting to happen that may actually come up within the time frame of now until the 15th? Interesting. So I'm hearing some of you guys are actually going to get some sort of promotion, especially if you've been working at your job for a while now and a promotion has already been in debate. A lot of you actually make it lucky and have that promotion come through before the new year actually starts. Um, I'm seeing energy surrounding, again, like some sort of boss. There may be some sort of opportunity extended to you, whether this is a raise, promotion, OK, for a lot of you, what could happen, though, with some sort of promotion, it could be a lot for you to handle with the job. So I definitely would make sure that you're being verbal and speaking up for yourself in terms of you needing to kind of learn at your own pace, because it may be a lot of responsibility that's just like dumped on you. But I definitely see like a boss up or a boss up, you guys bossing up when it comes to your career and you guys really being able to advance in that area. But this could also cause like other areas in your life to be more so neglected, I should say. So it's like finding a good balance between being really absorbed with work but, and then also having like a personal life as well. OK, um, I also get the energy of like a sexual encounter that may happen. And this is very random. I don't see you guys planning to sexually engage with this person. Um, for some of you, this may even be somebody who you had more so a sexual connection with previously or even a romantic connection. But there may be some sort of sexual exchange that takes place during this time frame that happens randomly. Now, how it happens is going to be different for each and every one of you. Hmm. For my people who are like going back out there and dating, you could be meeting somebody new during this time frame. And then this person at first, you're like, uh, I don't know if I'm really going to take this person serious, but you could be finding yourself like really drawn to this individual at first it was just like okay I'm attracted to this individual but you may really feel like you're connecting with someone who could be like a soulmate somebody who could be in your life for a while okay when is Venus retrograde I'm gonna have to look that up and see because I know Venus retrograde is coming up soon let's keep going so again, another card about balance. We have take the lead. So another card talking about you guys taking the lead, taking control of a situation here. And then we have detach in reverse. So hmm. Huh. So there may be something going on with the person who you may have children with. I'm hearing like custody issues It's either custody issues or you or this person is trying to like mend some sort of relationship, either in the sense of getting back together or in the sense of trying to co-parent. I'm hearing like there's a child that's acting out because of the fact that there's a lack of balance within your relationship with the person you have children with. And this, this child could be really sensing the energy between you two. So that's something that may get nipped in the bud during this time frame. Um, OK, 
Okay, so in some sort of marriage, in some sort of relationship that you guys are in currently, there's like this energy of you and this person completely being on two separate pages. And I think that your person of interest is acting really detached, like completely detaching themselves on an emotional level because of the challenges or issues that you guys have gone through up until this point. A lot of lover's energy i think this is the lover's card actually as well mm. some of you guys are gonna have to make a big choice when it comes to leaving where you live now and possibly moving somewhere else there may be an opportunity that may be being offered to you somewhere else. Some of you want to move for a relationship, I'm hearing. It's either you're about to move for some sort of relationship and it's still in debate or your person of interest is about to move and that's still in debate. But nonetheless, there's some sort of huge decision that's needed to be made in terms of whether or not you are going to allow this person to move in with you or you're going to move with them. Hmm. Okay, where you thought that you were never going to talk to somebody, this looks like a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You and this individual may not necessarily get in contact with each other during this time frame, but you may notice that this person's like keeping tabs on you via social media, or if you guys have mutual friends, they may be keeping tabs on you via that way. Hmm. Where some of you guys are dealing with somebody who seems playerish, and as if they're not open to like really being in a serious connection, but more so looking for something sexual. For a lot of you, you may regret even entertaining this person. Um, you may go into a space of feeling like, dang, I caught feelings for this person and I knew that this person was a player. And you could be like beating yourself up for that. So definitely <laughs> take it easy. Okay, once you recognize this person's a player, move your energy elsewhere or elsewhere, excuse me. Um, so there's a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius who could be trying to fix things with you uh, after they may have put you in a third party situation, after they may have just put you through some confusing energy and even with the third party situation i'm not necessarily just meaning like cheating this could be having like family meddling in on your relationship having just outside people friends meddling in on the connection this person could be trying to fix things though and again i just get this energy of you guys having a really hard time connecting with this person as much as you would like to a piece of you can't mentally fathom being with this person the same way after what may have happened i'm also seeing a little bit of sagittarius energy as well hmm Okay, some of you guys may get kind of impatient with the business and decide to kind of just say F it. Or if not a business, this is a creative idea or something that you've been working on and you haven't either been able to, to figure out how you want to move or maneuver with that idea or altogether you don't really like the results. So you could be deciding to kind of just like say F it. And Spirit is saying there's things that you need to address about your business that may be needing some tweaking instead of more so pushing it off to the side because there may be a chance to recover in this energy but these are some of the things that i see i wish you the best of luck again if there's any information you need it will be listed below and i'll see you later Bye.